hello my lovely people good morning good afternoon good evening good night welcome to my youtube channel my name is jen this is the first time you're seeing me thank you so much for stopping by when you finish watching please consider subscribing my return subscribers from here to you i love you thank you thank you thank you so much for your support thank you for sharing my videos thank you for everything you are doing for me may god bless you may god bless you so in this video today this is a breaking news they say uh breaking breaking news uk police arrest a Kuramado wife for conspiracy to harvest a child's organ uh the deputy <clears throat> the nigeria the former deputy senate president in nigeria <clears throat> and the wife has been arrested in uk for uh, trying to get a child to harvest the child's organ so let us read in in this so this one is from uk not from nigeria or this one is a two nigerians have been arrested by uk police for conspiracy to traffic a child <clears throat> to nigeria for purpose of harvesting the organ metropolitan um police in the statement said that beatrice Mwaneka, Ekweremado, and Ike Ekweremado, 55 and 60 years old, respectively, have been reminded in court study and will appear in court, <clears throat> Oxbridge Magistrate Court. The police confirmed that the man and the woman have been charged with conspiracy to arrange to bring a child to UK to harvest organ in their home in their home country nigeria hmm. this person is deputy senate president of nigeria hmm. they are both charged with conspiracy to arrange or facilitate the travel of another person they are both charged with conspiracy to arrange or facilitate the travel of another person with a view to exploitation namely organ harvesting police however said the child has been safeguarded but did not disclose the gender of the child or the age of the child or the location where the child is the report suggests that it is likely the suspects were arrested at the Heathrow airport since they are appearing in the court in Oxbridge. A police investigation was launched after detectives were alerted to a potential offense under modern slavery legislation in May 2022, they first said. So my lovely people the former deputy senate president of nigeria and the wife former uh deputy senate president and the wife went to uk or however they did they they are arrested in uk so the the newer one that i saw was that they have been arraigned they are in court uh they will stay over there until they find at least a good lawyer or whatever that that can save them from this you see always pray this prayer that anybody that have that have anything bad against you may whatever it is that they are thinking about you happen to them this man just just like a, a week or so or two, a couple of what they go came out and announced i was gonna make a video about it but i said he's not worth it he's looking for attention because guess what after he made that announcement how he's not going to support the p2b how this how that you know why nobody wants to support they don't all those thieves don't want to support him because they know they cannot get that money again all that money all that their bank all that thing that they've been getting from nigeria is going to be closed but let's not go there that's not where i'm going after he made that announcement he lost the election now his cup is so full oh. his cup is so full i had another one oh look at me oh i had another one that 
that the daughter has some kind of problem that needed uh, some kind of organ transplant. Maybe that's why he wants to delete another person's child so that he can make his own child better. That's why I tell you guys, my brothers and my sisters in Nigeria, not to be collecting money from these politicians because you don't know where they are getting their money. They are doing trafficking. They are doing... Who knows? Who knows how long he's been doing this? But he just got caught today. Maybe he's been getting doing this and be selling it. That's how they are getting all this big money that they have. And now they have been caught. I say, God, God, thank you so much. All this our uh, prayer is being answered. Oh, now let somebody come out and said all this yelling, all this screaming people are doing is only on a, on a on a social media. Thank God that this happened in UK, place where law works. Because if this has happened in Nigeria, if this ever happened in Nigeria, they will not catch them. Their idea was to carry human being, carry another person's child. Whatever that reason, they say the child be on that age. If the child be on that age, you carry another person's child. You go harvest the organ, according to UK police. According to UK police, uh, allegedly, and when when it comes to something like this, all these big countries don't just accuse you of something if they are not sure. If they did not catch you red-handed, they will not say it. So a quadrimodal cop is full. A quadrimodal cop is full to the brink and past his head. Now it's overflowing. Now he is caught. Equeremados, if in case you did not remember who who this Equeremado is, Equeremado a couple of years was it a a year or two or maybe two or three years ago, he went to I think it was Germany that he went for Yam Festival when Nigeria is a fire over there and they are in the house instead of them quenching the fire that is happening in in nigeria he went to uk that he was invited for yam festival and when he got over there nigerians that are so angry about the politicians and what they are doing at home we are waiting for him over there when he came over there he know what happened to him over there so is it with that with that anger also that he used Maybe he used that anger. He came and voiced out that he will never support a P2B. A P2B should come back to PTB. Um, uh, what what P2B deserve is vice, pre vice president, not president. So, after all this thing, look at what is happening. My dear, look at what is happening. So, this is the year of Nigerians. Nigeria this time, eh? It, uh, that is... Like one man said, one man said, if Nigeria don't get it better, that Africans will never get it better. Because everybody is looking up to Nigeria. Everybody is looking up to Nigeria leaders. If they are able to get it right, if they are able to make their country work, other countries will learn. But guess what? Anything that is happening in any other country, like Afghanistan or like South Africa or, or anywhere that they are doing any deleting or they are doing any war, Nigeria will be the, Nigeria government will be the first to go over there, send people over there to go and save those people when they are in Nigeria doing harvesting of organs. Harvesting of organs from Senate President of Nigeria. Harvesting of organs. Hey, Ekwaremado, your cop, eh? He full well, well. He full well, well. Now, let us see what is going to happen. And guess what? The wife that have carried a child, the wife that know the pain of having a child, agreed for them to take a child. I think in that place that I had, they said it's a homeless child that they took, that they tried to do the paper so they can... However it is that, that it happened, they were caught trying to carry a child. Is it to carry a child from UK and then to go to Nigeria where everything will be easy for them so they can carry the child and go over there to harvest the body. They have been doing it. This is not the first time because it's not... UK government, American government, all these big, big uh, countries, they know the names, no matter what name you call it. They know the name of how you guys do what you do. So they decided that they will monitor all, every one of you. So all of you, one by one, you will be caught. So the wife of Equerimado, 
the wife of a kore madi. You mean you are into her fasting organs so you can save your own child? Why another woman loses his own, loses uh, loses her own child, and it is okay for you to go and delete somebody's child so you can save your own? Hey, wo, see God, see God, see God, see what God is going to do all of you. See what God is going to do to every one of you, every one of you and everything that you are doing. Whatever it is, whatever it is that you have done, any hand that you have used to touch anything that will be against somebody else, eh? That's, that's just a, a, a perfect prayer. So my people, don't go deleting each other. Don't go doing anything foolish to each other. Just pray this prayer. Anybody that you did not do anything to and they try to do to you, maybe I can she have her no no. Simple. It's simple. It's a simple prayer. If anybody gets upset with that simple prayer, that person is doing something. So you better be scared of that person because that person is not good. So all the politicians in Nigeria that are that are sitting on Nigerians, may your children not. Nothing. And their own children. Their own children is all outside though. Their own children is all outside though. And then you, 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 a mother that is a Senate president that refuses to make sure that you step up and make sure that it's the hospital in Nigeria so that other people that cannot afford to go and get organ to put in their own children will survive. You, you refuse. You put your foot down and said Nigerians will suffer. It's only you and your family. Look, so Nigerians don't cry. Don't cry. You see, even their money cannot save them. All the money they have in the world. I know, I'm sorry, I'm yelling. All the money they have in the world cannot save them. When God is for you, nobody can be against you. With all the money they have, look at all the jaga jaga going before them and after them. Look at all the problem that them and their children are having. Look at all their money cannot save them. Their money cannot make, they cannot buy enough. They cannot buy because when you start doing bad things, more bad things will continue to happen to you. I can see one by one. Everything they have done, they will be alive and rip every one of them. So I saw this. I said, wow, wow. I know they do a lot of things. So I know they do a lot of things in Nigeria and get away with it. Thank God for other countries, other developed countries that are catching them one by one. One by one, their cup will all be full. And hey, there's nothing we can do. Because it's the thing that they have planted that is growing for them. It's germinating for them. And they all be alive and rip it. God bless you guys for watching that. I saw that. I thought I'd come and let you guys know. Look at your senior president. It's in the business of har harvesting organ. Look at your senior president. He carried the wife. Two of them joined together knowing what they're going to do. They want to harvest organ to put in their own children. When, and let other children go without my dear god bless you guys for what from me to you bye bye